All right, guys, we're back. Let me tweet out that we're doing some Shining Legends deck building. Let's build some Shining Legends decks. Let me do this real quick. Hey, but we're back though, guys. I didn't even finish my food yet. I was just super hyped about building these decks. So uh, we're here, here. Tweet this out. I got a text message about something. Check that real quick. <clears throat> they are how much? Is that 40 bucks? Dude, my card shop, oh my card shop has them for 40 bucks. Hey, if anybody wants to go, if anybody, shout out, quick shout out to Space Cadets. If anybody wants to buy an Elite Trainer box, they're actually $40 at, at um, they're actually $40 at Space Cadets here in my area. <clears throat> Instead of 50 that you'll see at the uh, at retailers. Get some requests going. I'll check the chat in one second, guys. Just had to tweet my stuff out. I'm going to close Discord. So I already tweeted, I already put in Discord that we're streaming. Discord is closed. Everything should be closed. Nobody should be able to bother me now. And let's check this. We got two likes. Go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already, guys. Nelly is here. You missed some fun earlier, Nelly. Oh, man, it's reloading. Oh, God. I hate when this happens, man. I can't even move my tabs <laughs> without everything reloading. Oh, now it's reloading. God, okay, hold on. You're going to give me a couple seconds, guys. But we're building decks. Um, so whatever you guys want to see me build, what do you guys want to see me build first? Raichu, a Zoroark variant, or Venus or Genesect? Those are the three decks I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Uh, oh god, it's apparently I clicked on something. What a pain. Um, let me just pause this so it doesn't interrupt the stream. Because I have to pause everything and make sure nothing gets interrupted. There's a pack of but how did we get? The, but did we get? We got two Zoroarks. I, I'm actually trading away one of my Zoroarks because uh, I only really need two for most decks for the time being. <clears throat> like if I'm gonna be building Zoroark like in Nine Tails or in Glisspod or anything like that, I only really want two. <clears throat> Zoroark, Umbreon. Let's see. Shining Genesis Venusaur. Yeah. Go ahead and drop a like, guys. Get some uh get some get some support on the stream. Let me go ahead and pause this over here. I brought my food with me too, so I might randomly mute so I can eat. Because I just finished cooking, but I really, really wanted to stream. I really want to build these decks, bro. I might just close out of this. You know, I'm going to close out of this. It's whatever. I don't have time for this right now. <clears throat> Alright, what are we building first? People are saying Mewtwo. I'm not going to be playing Mewtwo, bro. I'm ready. Don't spam. Um, one Zoark IRL Brood. In my one Elite Trainer box, I got Hyper Rare and Regular Art. <laughs> it's wild. Shout out to my sister for buying me that, dude. She was awesome. She came in. She's just like, I know you don't have any money. I know you're doing the channel stuff because my siblings support me instead of my parents. They're just like, here's, here's some things. It was dope of her. Zorak, Ninetales, or you? Not right now. I don't want to do that first. I want to build something very focused on Shining Legends. So let's go ahead and do the uh, Venusaur build. So that's what that was the first thing I saw. Shining Ho. Oh, I'm not playing Shining Ho. Shining Ho is not good. Freddy, I will time you out, bro, if you keep spamming. Don't do this. Uh, Shining Ho is whatever. Like, it's cool and all, but, like, it's not... Like, it's cool in Volcanion, like a one of in Volcanion for sure, but that's about it. I'm not going to be playing it. All right, Venusaur. One, two. Should I play, like, three, or should I just do a two line? I'll do three. We can, make, we can be safe, right? One, two. Just in case one faints, we have another one. Um, one, two, three. So what are we doing? We're playing our Shining Genesex. We only have three right now. But three should be fine. Our three Lele's for some consistency. And two promo Mew. Oh, baby Mew, I see what you're saying. Yes, that actually works. I actually like that idea. Where's baby Mew? Where are you at, buddy? There you are. Yeah, we'll play two of you. Let's 
Uh, I don't really like Lorance's GX in that deck. It's a cool idea, but I don't know. I don't think I'll do it. <clears throat> I think one prize attackers is the way to go. Consistent attackers. I like this idea. Max elixirs. Oh, you know what I want to do though? I kind of want to do it. I'm doing it. Playing a 2 2 line of Zoark as well. Because it's a one energy attack to use the attack as well, which is nice. We'll go with the Moonlight Malice one. And Zoro Arc. Play two of you. And one of you. And then from there, we'll focus on just consistently having these Pokemon out. Max Elixirs. We'll, 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 do, we'll do a bunch of stuff here. Four elixirs. We want two field blowers. I might even bump it up to three, honestly, because Garbodor is an issue. But for now, I'll put in three for now. We'll just we'll empty things out as we go. Ultra Ball. I still need. I haven't done my video yet to give those out. I'm so upset. I keep forgetting. Promo Lorantis. I don't really like Promo Lorantis in the build. Like it's it's you're adding stuff that you don't really need to add at that point. Uh, we'll see though. We're gonna keep trying different things. Like Zorax for consistency. It's one energy attacker that's very strong. Um, you want your Venusaur out for sure. You need your Lele's for consistency. Ah, delicious mac and cheese, dude. I'm I'm living that college life right now. We got that cheap box mac and cheese. Player ends. We gotta get a Bridget up. Bridget game up. Oh, we can play Mallow. <laughs> That's the future, dude. Mallow. <laughs> Mallow for Max Lixus, dude. That's the future, man. I already did that. We're gonna do it. Dude, I'm so excited that I can play Mallow all the time. I'm so glad I have my two copies of Mallow. I, why am I doing this? One of. I'm not I'm not Nelly, bro. I don't play two. Nothing wrong with it. But what's up, Timmy, my boy, Propane? Four Sigmore, three Guzma, two Bridget, one Skyla, or one Bridget, two Skyla. Why? Oh, I, I do want to play the Skyler, but I don't know if I want to play multiple copies. I think just a one of is fine. Actually, I can I can see the idea for two of, but I'm gonna try one of. I don't usually like to play more than one of Bridge of one of Skylas, especially since we're gonna have Mallow, bro. Like we have Zoark in the deck, so Mallow is just the future, bro. You need those you need those rare candies, no problems. Mallow got you. Actually, you know what? Who needs Skyler? I got my girl Mallow. <laughs> Revitalizer. Ooh, Revitalizers could be good. Uh, I still think I, I'd rather have um, Stretcher though, just because it gets you, it gets you, what's it called back? It gets you the Zorax back. We gotta get our Goozers. I keep forgetting Goozmas whenever I build decks, so I gotta remember to do that. I don't think I want Acerolas in this deck. Uh, one Bulu line is good against Fire. I could definitely see that. Who am I missing? Avocado Loco. Oh, Avocado Loco. What's up, bro? Emotion, Oranguru? Nah, dude, we're playing Zoark, my dude. We are playing Zoark. <clears throat> oh, we need choice bands. I think I like choice bands over belts. I'd rather do damage and survive since we're one prize attackers anyways. Uh, so I'm gonna do choice bands. I might try belts later if I feel like it's necessary. We could also do Aether Paradise, which is interesting. Remember guys, we're doing our monthly giveaway is this, as well as like things like Hyper Lele, Full Art Guardy, things like that. I'll just play four of. Play a couple float stones. I'm just gonna throw in a bunch of stuff, we'll edit in a second, guys. One, two, three. Uh, you know what? Just in case I wanna play four of at some point. I wanna play three for now. Alright, let's start making cuts. Four bands, two floats. That's what I'm doing. Because Flying Bay and Cooking Bay, you want both? You need both? I don't need Flying Bay. I got Cooking Bay, bro. Yeah, but guess what, Jack? We got our boy Zoroark. And I kind of get the idea of like playing like it's a little bit more instant whenever you're playing Skyla. I'd still rather play Mallow. I got my attachments to Mallow, bro. I don't know why there's three of these. I'm honestly good with just one. Three, one, two, line. Three, one, three. I, I could cut it down. Their prize, it's whatever. We'll get them off the prizes. We're playing Zoroark. Uh, this is good. This is good. We don't need three of you. This is good. 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 Uh, I'm trying to play a high energy amount of energies though. I want to play like 12 grasses. 
Avocado Loco is the hardest thing. Alolomolo. Alolomolo. Oh, Rare Candy. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot we need to throw on this deck. We might have to just drop the Zoark ID all, the, all together. But I like having Zoark. It's good against... Uh, it's, it's also a nice... It's a nice thing against what's it called? Um, Volcanion as well. Rare Candy. We need at least three of you. Three of you friends. And one more. Alright, so now we gotta start making cuts. I wanna make, at the very least, six cuts. Bro, Jack, Jack looks like he's a little negative Nancy, bro. Stick is all over the place. This with Zoarx. It's everywhere, bro. The deck's super complicated. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the end down, the end line count. Since we're playing Zoarx, we can cut the end. One end. Uh, everything else, I don't really wanna cut anything else, to be honest. Hmm. Zoarks keep me consistent, but we could drop the Zoarks and just take the auto loss to Volk. Although it's it's hard to take an auto loss because you're playing a two like a one price attacker, right? So you could win the you could actually have a like a pretty decent chance of winning the game when you're playing Volcanion. I'd I'd do one stretcher, one rod. I'm never really comfortable with that. But we could do I could definitely remove a stretcher. One choice? No, we need choice bands. <clears throat> Three. I'll be taking out six cards here, which would give me room for 12 energies. <sighs> hmm. I got rid of one end already. I don't want to get rid of another one. The Lele's are good. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just trying to think, like... Cause then I'm just I'm just gonna lose. I don't like losing. I'm not a fan of it. I like this. We could just take this out, I suppose. Righteous beating should do plenty for me. I mean I'm able to hit 150 relatively easily, which is good. Righteous beating. Can we talk? Is it is that righteous? Is right toes? What is that righteous? Am I missing something? I don't think that's righteous. I don't think that's how you say that. Get rid of a one one line. Yeah, we'll cut out the Zorx. I'm just really excited about playing Zorx. All right, so we're not gonna be able to. We're gonna have a tough time against Volk, but I think we just take it and just try to like speed through. Take out the Malus too. We can put in Skyla. One grass can power Lele, which is pretty dope. Bulu's not gonna really help. I guess Bulu does like its two energy attack, which isn't a big deal. I'll throw in a Bulu. Bulu will help the grass matchup or the fire matchup. I kinda want two. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I wanna, but I want more float stones. I think this is good. 11 energy should be fine. We're playing two stretchers. Two blowers are good for garb. We'll do this. Energy. All right, we'll do this. Oh, I really want to play Zorak. I'm just really excited about playing Zorak, guys. Just assume me, okay? Good evening. Oh, dude, Z Mew does copy Bulu. What's up, Dapper Drab Drabby? Um, guys, go ahead and like the video if you haven't already. <clears throat> it is always greatly appreciated. Verizion? I could play Verizion. I like the 11 to 12. I don't want to play any less than 11. Verizion is interesting, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it's worth. Like maybe it expanded is really cool because of uh, Night March. Pike for two energies. Plus bench Pokemon. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it, honestly. It's cool though, it's, it's a cool concept. Uh, but yeah, I think we're good like this. I kinda wanna make like a Venusaur Genesect toolbox deck. 
So if anybody can think of any really cool basic attackers, like of any type that just attacks with colorless, that I should throw in the deck, that'd be really cool. Don't add the garbage. Dude, I'm so used to like expanded now that like when I when I think of like cards I can do 30 on the bench, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> sounds nice. You can do shaman though, retaliate. I mean, if we're hitting for weakness, just having one Genesect is enough, honestly. Venusaur, Mega Beedrill, that's, that's the next deck. Drampa's cool, I don't really think it's necessary. We don't really have, I mean, we do have this GX attack, which is fine. And yeah, we're just gonna save it. We're gonna try it out today. <clears throat> uh, should I build, should I keep building other decks though? Let's, build, let's just keep building, let's just keep building for a little bit. Uh, we can play all these decks later. For now, let's build a Raichu deck. I gotta start deleting decks, to be honest. Um, let's build Raichu next, now since we have like a million Raichus. Um, standard. Shining Legend. No, I know what you're talking about. The Shining Legend statement that has Retaliate. I don't think it's worth it, though, because you're doing, you're doing like, what, 90 after after something gets knocked out for one energy. I mean, that's kind of cool, to be to be honest. But like, I don't know, for two energies you're doing more with the Genesect, but I guess for one energy it's pretty decent. I, know, I mean 120, not 90. Uh, I mean, there's benefits. Maybe. Maybe. I'll consider it. <clears throat> Mew Lunala. I, I played, a, I already recently played a Wobbuffet Lunala in the Crosma deck. I'm going to be throwing in a one of Mewtwo in that deck. So I'm definitely playing it. I'm definitely playing Raichu with a um, with Magnezone. I don't. Th I think all the other variants are pretty bad. Now there's a lot of credence in playing the Electrode variant post Crimson Invasion because the Electrode activates your Counter Catcher, which is so dope. <clears throat> so, but for the time being, we're gonna treat this deck very similar to the what we did with the last deck. But make it as consistent as possible. Unfortunately, I only have one of the 70 HP Pikachus. Once I get more, we'll definitely throw them in. So I think I'm going to try to get two more. Hopefully tomorrow I can get like two or three more. Um, one, two, three. That's only two. One, two, three. Which one's better? This one can paralyze. This one cannot. Yeah, I'll do this one. One of you. 25 people only like some. Oh yeah, hit that like button, people. Is Ori eating? I am eating. Hey, would everyone be would would everyone buy 50 orange Jersey for 20 dollars? Is Ori eating? Dude, I was having delicious, dude. I bought. You can. I found a. I found a dude that will do 50 guardian. No, it wasn't 50. No, it was 50. 50 guardian rising codes for 30. I think it was no, no, it was 30. It was 30. It was 39. It was almost 40. I I brought it down to like 39 when I bought it from him. Dude, I, I haven't had mac and cheese in years. I got the back, box mac and cheese. No, because we have we have it being broke, boys. Got to eat something. I love this art. I'm probably just gonna play for the artwork. But this art is so dope too. <laughs> so many dope Pikachu's. There's that 70 HP promo, and this is the one. I'm gonna play this one. I'm gonna throw it in there for now because it's the best Pikachu to have. But I only have one of. So we'll we'll get more. We could just play four different Pikachu artworks and be that guy and just completely screw over my OCD. This one's still legal. And this is the best one, to be honest. Like, besides the one that we just got. Because this one's like... The other one has like the same attack. I, I don't even know I had three of these. I should put these for trade, to be honest. <clears throat> You'll play this one on top of the 70 HP one. And hopefully I can get a couple more of these later. Well, this one has Silver Coins, it's Thunder Wave, same attack as this one, which is Nuzzle of a Coin, it's Paralyzed, and Quick Attack is 20 plus 10 more. This one's for 3 energy, does 50 damage. So I like this Pikachu the most. It's retreat cost is 1, whatever, yada yada. Try to get these, guys. Because that's the only Pikachu with 40 HP. That one is in the Shiny Legends, and then there's like the Cereal Box one. Shiny Mew. Shiny Mew can get decks out of the deck to your bench, but you need a Psychic Energy to use the attack. It's not a Colors Energy attack. So Shiny Mew is hard to put in decks because you either need to have Rainbow Energy, which will damage your 30 XP Mew to 20 damage, putting it in Cocoa range, or 
you have to play Psychic Energy in your deck, which not a lot of decks can afford to do that. Are you selling? Are you selling codes? If you're selling 50 codes for 20, bro, like that's that's a good deal. Like that's a really good deal. Play Clemot. I'm not gonna play Clemot. Actually, you know what? I'll probably play a one of Clemot. Uh, what else? What else do we put in this deck, guys? What other attackers do we put in this deck? I don't know. Late game and protection, which I should probably put a Ranguru in my Gen in my Shining Genesect deck. I should probably do that. I'm not gonna lie, since we took out the Zoark. Oh, Raikou, Raikou. I need one of Raikou. Hello, buddy. Tapu Coco. Oh, Coco GX. I need Coco. Yes, you are right. Shoutouts to Propane. You know, if we're playing a one of, we're going hyper. Which I should probably give this away at some point. Let me know if you guys want me to give that away. Actually, you know what? I don't like I don't like hypers on TCGO. I'd much rather prefer full arts. <clears throat> um, that's it for Pokemon, I think. Jolteon, uh, you know we'll play Jolteon. Might as well. Free attack, free one pry, or I mean, free lock attacker. All right, now we need our Skyla. This time I'm not gonna forget rare candy. And it's basics from here, Sycamore. And hey, world, could you put your Venusaur up for trade? Uh, in a second, I can I can do that. Give me a second. You can use Rainbow Energy if you're trying to tech in something, but I would use it in Lunala GX for that Psychic Poison. I think Mew and and Lunala is dope. I don't don't get me wrong, but we're not we're not building that right now. That's why I got confused when you were saying that earlier. I can put the Venusaur's up for trade in a second, dude. Which I can do it right now. I forget. <clears throat> We're only gonna need three, so this is gonna be like the one of trade, just because my boy, my boy donates a lot. So since the other ones are already up for trade, if they end up, if they end up not being also warp energies, sure I can do that. I can only give you one Venusaur though, dude. That's all I need, so that's that. As far as the Venusaur cards, I can only give you one. Um, but anyways, back to this. Skyla ends. We need our Guzmas, our Goozers. So, one, two, three. Acerola is dope in this deck list. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just put three in there for now. We're not gonna have enough room for it, but for the time being, I'll do that. One of Clemence. Do I even own this card? I don't think I own this card, to be honest. Yeah, I don't even own this card. <laughs> We're not playing it. I'm sticking with Professor's Letter. I'd rather play Professor's Letter anyways. Not playing Judge. I'd rather not play Judge. Play three count of you. Um, stretcher. Play two count. Blower. Play two count. Res no, um, retrieval. I think that's how I spell it. Yeah. Play a three count. And Bridget, we need a one of Bridget. Uh, what else? Is there anything else I'm missing? Besides the energies, of course, am I missing anything? Max looks here. I'm probably not gonna go the Max looks here route. I think we're gonna stick with these. What's up, Nebs? We're building decks right now. We just finished building Venusaur, which I'm probably gonna go with just real quick. Probably put an Rangaroo in there. Um, I don't think I wanna play Max Luxers. I think sticking with like 10 energies is gonna be good. 
We forgot Ultra Ball, which is kind of important. You see my polls on Discord? I have not. I'll check Discord later. I completely forgot Ultra Ball. Thank you, An Anderson. Completely forgot Ultra Ball. I need to fix my uh, my filters so that I have that thing set up and I'm not like a bunch of other garbage cards. What's up, Mite? Aether? I don't really like Aether. Uh, plus, you can't Aether your, um, your Raichus, which are your main attacker. Okay, so now we can drop some cards. We want to drop four cards, I want to say. I'm going to drop Jolteon. I don't think Jolteon's a good enough attacker. Oh, you know what? We're forgetting Choice Bands. We're forgetting Float Stones. We forgot all of our tools, which I usually do last. I just completely forgot about it. We don't need too many Choice Bands. I think I'm going to stick with three. But I do want a cup. I want a 3-3 three, three split of Choice Bands, Float Stones. So we're going to start dropping stuff. So now we gotta start dropping. What do we drop? I definitely wanna drop this. Uh, the thing is, right, I have to keep Raikou just as a non GX attacker. Then again, we have Magnazone. I don't think we need to accelerate from the discard pile. Because this is a two energy attack, right? <clears throat> I guess accelerating is nice if we can pull it off, but I don't think it's worth it. We're drawing a lot, so I don't think we need that many of these. Field blower, like losing field blower could be really bad, but we have a pretty decent count, so I don't want to play two of the that. Uh, four, four, three, one. We can drop ace rolls for sure. Play that down to two. Play one less n. I don't have a clam on apparently. I'm not playing experience share either. I have the Coco GX already. It's already in there, guys. I mean, why is everyone freaking out? It's right here. Tapu Coco is right here. I'm not playing the promo Coco. I don't think the promo Coco is worth it in this deck. <sighs> we need to get rid of a couple other cards, though. I don't want to get rid of too many of these, but it looks like I'm probably going to have to. Four more cards. Three, one, three. Keep it like that. Four, three. One of you, one of you, three of you. Um, it's just, there's a lot of items you have to play in this deck. <laughs> Hmm. Hem, hem, hem. Should I make myself N weak and drop the Oranguru? Lower the tools? I can't really lower the uh, the Floatstone count, though, because I'm going to be stuck a lot. I guess Raichu has a 1 retreat cost, but then this thing's a problem. I can probably lower the Choice Band by 1. 1 baby Raichu? What does that Raichu even do? That's the one with Circle Circuit, right? Oh, trainers. Only two Lele? I'd rather, I'd rather get Trauma Bridget. Um, our bench isn't full either, and it's a nice Pokemon that can hold energies. Uh, what was it? Rai, Rai, Rai. There's Evo Shock, which is bad. I don't like playing Evo Shock in this meta. This one's pretty bad. Circle Circuit is interesting. Some of your bench Pokemon, like you can hit for 120. Actually, you only hit for 100 this, with this, right? Yeah, you can only hit for 100. I don't think Baby Raichu's worth. Yeah. <clears throat> you have Guzma's. That's, that's kind of forcing Guzma plays. I've been playing a lot of Float Stones in my decks nowadays just because it's so vital. I think between these two we should be okay. I don't want to drop this because garb. Breakthrough Raichu. This one. Attack the damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon EX. I mean, I, I don't think it's worth. Like, I think it's cool in Volcanion, but that's about it. I mean, in Volcanion you have Turtonator and stuff like that. And you win because if they play, if they play ho -Oh. So, um... <clears throat> I think we're good... I think because we play two of these, I shouldn't worry too much about energies. And we have two of these as well. But we gotta be smart. Eight is just not enough. I wanna play more. I don't think eight is enough, to be honest. Can, I don't wanna drop the ace. I guess we can make the ace roll a one count. 
Three Guzmas is fine. Three of you, four of you, one of you. Uh, drop one Lele. I hate that I'm dropping one Lele. We'll drop one Lele. We'll put 10 energies in. Oh, Raikou. Oh, I don't want to play the Raikou. There's no need to play more Pokemon than we already have. So these are the two main decks of the set, right? So like we can just start playing now. If anybody has any deck suggestions on the YouTubes as well, let me know. Magnezone Raichu. This is my preferred variant. I already played the one topic, no worries. No worries there. What up man, got some shiny legends pulled, Raichu and Full Art Breeder. Hey, that's my boy. Congrats, bro. By the way, guys, don't forget to like the stream. The likes help out. Spread the channel, spread the word, all that good jazz. Let's go ahead and play. We'll play Raichu first. We'll go between the two, Raichu and the Genesect. Oh, I need to fix Genesect. Um, I'll just start with Raichu, I think. Magnachu. Magnachu. I already built that, uh, Freddy. Uh, let's see. It's a standard. I have to start cleaning this out. Magnet's own Raichu. Let's play. I want to play Mega Venus. I want to play Mega Venusaur. Venusaur. That sounds like a lot of fun. Ooh, man! I skipped dinner to do this, guys. So I'm gonna be eating here and there. I'll be getting great stuff in my lead training box going up tomorrow. Awesome, bro. I wasn't at Cards and Comics yesterday because I was on my grandma's birthday. Hey, well, Cards and Comics has the Elite Train Box today for only 40 Like, retailers are selling it for 30 but they got it for 40 my dudes. It's pretty hype. All right, let's see how we can win because it's going to be kind of tough. Like, right, like, like both of these decks that we're playing today are weak to cards like, what's it called? Like Gardevoir and stuff like that, so we have to be careful. Luckily, there's no Fighting-type decks in the meta. Although, I do want to play Lycanroc Zoark at some point. That seems like a fun variant. Ooh, and Glisspot's kind of troublesome. Because it's going to be hard for us to get Okos. That's why I wanted to play Heavy Choice Bands. So I can get Okos easier. Oh no, the N. We're going to play N or something next turn anyway, so it's not a big deal. Hopefully he's not playing Garbodor. I don't really want to deal with a Garbodor. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. It's not good. All oh, this is not is not the good. Is not the good. Alright, let's see if we can top deck. That's why I play heavy leles, bro. This is why I like playing heavy leles. Yo, can I ask that opponent? Can I can I get that? Can I get that from my opponent, bro? If you have a psychic deck, run a one of Shining Raichu. Shining Raichu? What is that? I don't know what that is. So we're only doing 60. Which is unfortunate. But we can start doing damage, and that's what matters, I suppose. I need to start doing putting damage on the board. And we can, if we get one more energy, we can start thundering or using the GX attack and stuff. Okay, let's get something out of this. Come on, deck. What's a Shining Raichu? Oh, Raikou? Is, is there a Shining Raikou? But oh, now we can't retreat easily. Wild. Oh, he's gonna start doing spread damage. No. All right, top deck, top decks. Come on. I mean, this is this is an attack, I suppose. <clears throat> At the very least, we can attack. A uh, GX will not knock me out yet because it'll only do 180 max. What is Raichu's attack? It is the same thing as Darkrai. Raichu is powerful spark. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to your Pokemon. Lightning energy attached to your Pokemon. 
Thunder, this Pokemon does 30 damage to itself, and Voltage GX is, is uh, you know, apparently it's now paralyzed. So this is awkward, right? So now his, uh, now his Wimpods can knock me out, which scares me. Oh, we have the top deck. Oh, actually, you just have to not whiff. <laughs> Let's see, gets good a good prize here. It means Jirachi, a one of Jirachi. I mean, I like the one of Jirachi. Okay, hopefully he doesn't get Glissopod DCE because that'd be awkward, especially considering our field. We don't have any more Pikachu set up. He does have a Glissopod back there. 120 will not knock me out. Acerola, if he has oh Choice Band 150, 150 does knock me out. So we are gonna get knocked out here, unfortunately. So we need we need to set up again. Shining Raichu like SB on EX, but oh, Shining Jira oh, Shining Rachi, dude, I'm looking at Raichu right now. Just put the extra JI if I'm confused. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get something out of this. A Skyla, uh, we don't want Skyla right now. Uh, yeah, unfort, unfort. Uh, I guess I can attach a Choice Band to a Magnezone. I don't really want to though, so I'm probably not gonna do that. We'll just get Lele for N. And one of my ladies are prized, which is why I usually play three. What else is prized? We have a thing. Let's see. Let's see what else is prized. I think it's not looking that bad. We do have a bunch of energies prized, though. What is that? Like three energies prized, I think. Do I Lele? I think I'm just going to stick more, honestly. I need, I need to get Pokemon out. I could Bridget. Um, Bridget would give me two Raichus and a Ranguru, and I could just start drawing off that, but I'm stuck, so I don't want to do that. I just, I'd rather stick more. My deck gets KO'd by Grass. Uh, where, where do you, where do you find these promo Pikachu's? The promo Pikachu's are the Shining Legends Pikachu's. They are the promo ones that you get for from the Shining Legends stuff. At least we got a Pikachu out of that, which is good. So this hand's actually not bad. If we can get like a neck, if we can get a Magnezone off the top deck. <clears throat> if we can get one of those, we're actually in a decent position. <laughs> It'd be wild because you can get a bunch of energies and put them down. But for now, we're just gonna have to pass here. I could thin out my deck by playing the mail, but I don't want to play the mail unless I have a Magnezone down. I thought you'll know I played three. Oh, I I did play three, and I only played two. Armor press. All right, so we go into this and hope for the best. We can nuzzle. Then you can just play cards like Acerola, which is awkward. But we are going to end him down to three, which is good for us. Another Pikachu down is good. Not really feeling playing any of these item cards. I do want one more attachment, though. Ah, oh, man. I want to guarantee an attachment. I want to start thinning. Let's just start thinning. We only have three left in there. I could play this now to put more in there. Doesn't seem smart though. All right, let's hopefully, hopefully this end hooks us up. I've run 10 energies in the deck. There's a bunch of prize though. Awkward, okay, um, I don't wanna do this. We're gonna have to focus on paralyzing my opponent. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Mm, we are not doing well. Oh man, I am whiffing these zones, bro. I am whiffing these zones. I don't want Pikachu to be knocked out because those are my two prizes, and I don't want to risk a process. So I think I actually have to go into Coco here, which is annoying because he can GX me, but it's just I have to stall. I don't think I have much of a choice. That sucks. Now my bench is full, which means I can't play Rangru. Ah, it's unfortunate. You got the Sycamore too. My opponents always get Sycamore off of Edinburgh. Alright, if he has a choice ban here, it's gonna be kinda awkward. Okay, he doesn't have it, which is good. 
So two retreat, which is nice as well. So we can actually preserve this. Man, Ultra Ball would have been so nice if we had energies. <clears throat> I'm going to have to give him a knockout, which is unfortunate. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him knock out a Magnemite. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to try to par... No, you know what? I'm going to try to paralyze him with a Pikachu. That's what I'll do. If I fail, horrible. If I don't fail, cool. We'll get these energies back in my hand. And then we can get Magnezone the following turn. When, when my... Well, I was, <laughs> English. And hopefully my opponent still thinks I'm stuck. That's what I'll do. I don't want to play Guzma yet. Yeah, we paralyze him. So that forces him to play his own Guzma. Which is... Uh, I mean, if he Guzmas out my Coco, it's going to be kind of awkward. But we can Ultra Ball for zone next turn. There's the Guzma. Alright, so he's gonna knock out this thing. So looks like my opponent's probably gonna win this game, which is unfortunate. And it's super unfortunate. But we can at least get off a Raichu, potentially, if we draw well. We don't our other Lele is prized, so we can't go off that play. We need to draw really well off this Oranguru. Or we get a top deck second more. That also works. <laughs> I'll attach here. I'm gonna put the Oranguru down. We can drop these two to get a zone and hopefully get a bunch of energies and he can't Guzma me next turn. He might be able to, he's probably going to be able to Guzma me. There's not too much I can do about it. We get a zone and hopefully we get a Raichu or a Rescue Stretcher. He should have 11 energies. Yeah, because the energies are the problem right now. <laughs> Alright, we got the Stretcher, we got Ultra Balls, we got this. We got a bunch of shenanigans right now. Ace Roll is good. I just hate that he's gonna get a knockout. That's the thing that makes me the most upset. Let's get another. Let's get two Raichus out here. Um, yeah, we'll get we'll get one. Actually, I could GX if I had a bench space. I don't have a bench space though, so no luck there. Let's get a Raichu first. Let's get a second Raichu and start setting that one up. One, two. Magnetic circuits. Attach two here. Uh, if I GX, it's not gonna kill. And I can't really rely on paralysis against this deck. He shouldn't be able to Oko me though. So we're gonna go with this play. Put my energies on Pokemon that are safe, even though it doesn't really matter at this point. And we can Ultra Ball to get another Raichu. I wanna keep the Ace Rolla, because Ace Rolla is pretty decent. We can draw two off of the Orenguru. There we go. Things are looking nice. Things are looking nice. If he Guzmas me, I lose anyways, so there's not really much I can do about this. I could GX and try to get lucky, but regardless, Guzma still Guzma still loses me the game. So there's not too much I can do about it. See what my opponent can do. Oh, there's a Guzma. All right, we're going to scoop it up. All right, let's fix it. I do want to play three Lele's. I don't, I don't know why I didn't want to play three Lele's. I definitely want to play three Lele's. <clears throat> let's go to deck manager. Electrode seems bad. Like, it's good with Counter Catcher, but right now, Electrode is just not the way to go. Okay. So I'll be up to three. I got you. I think we take out... Hmm. I like the two flow stone count. I want to keep the choice bands. I think we start taking these out and just draw more. Because they didn't really help me. These helped me, but that, those didn't. So I'll take those out. Energy retrievals are really good though, so I'm gonna play that. See, we have too many Pokemon, so I don't think I'm gonna be using Raikou at all. But at the same time, like Raikou's just good mid game. You're on a streak of not winning. What are you talking about? Have you not seen my my uh, my video that went up today? I was on a 12 game winning streak, <laughs> and this is my first game of the night. Man, I'm gonna, I'm about to time out, Freddy. Freddy's been Freddy's been Freddy's been. 
he's been Freddy, you know. Or I could trade you Clement if you do one. Well, I don't think Clement's gonna help. Like, it's cool, but like, the focus of this deck should be set up the zone. We can play the 11th energy. And we just, we just want to draw a lot. That's why I took out the Jolteon, because there's just too many Pokemon you have to put down. So you generally want to have two Ryu, two Ryu, Lele, then you also want a Rangru, Tapu Koko for like late game, things like that. We'll try it like this. The three Lele means I won't be stuck. Because that's what stuck. That's what made me stuck that game, right? Because I had a Lele prize. I only was able to use one Lele to give me a draw supporter because I had a really awkward start. But that's what happens when you play decks like these. Would be good. Oh yeah, this deck would be amazing expanded with the um, with the um, Electrike. Bruh, this deck would be amazing. Electrike, you have a bunch of really really cool electric types expanded as well, like the Raikou G EX and stuff like that. The deck is wild and expanded. Electric decks are just gonna expand in general though, just because you have Electrike. All right, look at that, a good opening hand. I'll take it. You just want another Magnezone down. If I get an Ultra Ball here, that'd be like the best. And oh, and Mega Manectric too. Ah, oh, tasty. Tasty. But like this deck is inherently not going to stand. Like it's essentially like a weaker Darkrai, right? Because you're playing a non-basic. You have more HP, but your, your other attacks are not the best. So the whole thing is that you're working with Powerful Spark. But you have the, you have this, you have the, the nicety of playing Magnezone. Whenever you get Counter Catcher, Electric, Electrode is going to be really good as well. So like, there's a bunch of benefits that come from playing uh, Electrode whenever once the Crimson Invasion comes out. But for now, I don't think it's very good. There's not really too much that's, that you benefit from it. Like you get two prize, you get your opponent gets a prize, you get two extra energies. Uh, I could just play Professor's Letter with a Magnezone out. You know what I mean? Dude, where's my Turmoil Bridges, bro? Where are my Turmoil Bridges? We can drop a Guzma and a. Uh, Energy, turn one Bridget, boom, boom, bam, attach for the turn, boom, bam, bam, Sycamore the following turn, clean. T.A., what's up, bro? Tiago. By the way, guys, don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already. It's always greatly appreciated. <clears throat> dude, where's all my people, though? Where are my moderators, dude? Are they all gone? Where's Swampert and Nebby and Pat and all of them? Dang, that would've been clean. Oh well. Second we're here. We're playing against Lunala. Oh no, Sogaleo, not Lunala. I actually really like Sogaleo. Oh my god. All of my ends. Every single one. I was hoping to hand his cheeks. Unfort. Yeah, that deck is fire. Sogaleo? The ultra the ultra beast mon should get a beast boost ability that acts like choice band. That'd be insane. Let's not do that. So this is going to be tough to beat. Sogaleo has too much HP, they play max potions. It's just like Metagross, but you hit for 230. <laughs> but you lose your energies as well, so like, I don't know. At the very least, we can knock out all his non-GX Pokemon, right? He's going to use his ability as well. Ugh, it's so much, so much good for my opponent. I'm here, I've been watch hey, watching... Hey! Watching the... What's up, Mini UK? What do you think about Evo Soda in the deck? I don't like Evo Soda in decks that don't involve too much evolving. Like, I think it's cool. I think the idea is dope, but there's not enough space for it. So, meaning we need this, I mean, hit your thumb pointing downwards. <laughs> Looks like a fun deck, but yeah, pretty much. The deck is, I mean, it's whatever. It's what happens when you play the game. I can't get too mad at it. I'm just mad that my opponent has a perfect setup and this. And I'm going to end him back to six, and I don't have a choice. I might, well, I can't paralyze him because his ability means that he can just switch out regardless. And Iran is out here scouting. Appreciate you, big dog. <clears throat> and he'll be able to Oko one of my Raichus, which is uncomfortable to say the least. Instead of Evo Soda, you can use Ultra Ball, bro. Every deck plays for Ultra Ball, including mine. Don't worry about it. Speaking of which, uh, I'm going to lose. 
an N and an Ace Roll here. I mean, Ace Roll is not going to do anything this matchup, but still awkward. We have a Raichu prized. Oh, I could just GX him, but I can't. I don't have another energy. Oh, uh, Raichu would have been dope. I'll tell him hello. Raichu would have been dope if we had it. I don't want to play. I have to play the N. Or I could just be endless this game. <sighs> What's up, Noah? I played Torment 3 1 with Champ beat Guardi because 3 were ultra prize. Rip. I feel bad for your opponent, bro. Oh, yeah, we'll just play our end. That sucks. I want to put down another Pikachu. Um, okay, we got another Pikachu. If I can get one more energy down. Could be kind of clean as well. Is a oh there I choose in the discard pile. Yeah 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 okay cool. If I can get a float stone as well, rare candy as well. Mm, there's a lot of things that are not going super well for me. We don't even have a draw support for next turn. No, that sucks. Why are we whiffing so hard? Come on. We are whiffing super hard today. God, that's not what I want to see. Hopefully he doesn't have Guzma, though. That's why I kept the one prize attacker out there. Oh my god, of course he has Guzma. <sighs> man. Well, there goes my Raichu. I guess I can evolve it again, but... A lot of energies are gone. Is he going to just attack me with this? Hmm. Nest Ball. Is he going to attack me with this, really? Does he have an energy? Oh, he does. He has the DC. No, he's going to attack me with this. Okay, cool. This is going to get his knockout, and I'm going to be stuck. I'm going to be stuck. Can I get... See, his ability is just so good. Ultra Road is just too good of an ability. I can't, like, Guzma up anything for stalling. Timer Ball, I don't like flips. I guess I can get, like, a Magnezone now, and then completely just, like, lose, I guess. I lose. I can't. I can't come back with this. I, I can't come back for this. I'm not I'm not gonna keep playing. That's unfortunate. Oh, what's up, Nyx, bro? Man, that sucked. That sucked, man. I need I need this to not happen anymore. I need to be able to get my turn one Bridget. I need to get my Lele's. I need to get my Ultra Balls. It does minus thirty to basics. Not to Raichu. Raichu's not a basic. I don't want to play in Expanded right now, I want to play in Standard. Expanded is going to be a different stream. Hey look, we won the point flip, that's going to help. At least we can go first now, we didn't go first in either of those games. Let's see what we can do. Oh cool, I asked for Ultra Balls and I just get them all at once, that's dope. <laughs> Dude, what is happening tonight? This is not a good night to play Pokemon. TCGO blessed me with good pulls and now we're doing this. Got a give and take, I suppose. He has a nine tails coin, so this guy's automatically respectable. And dope. At least we get turn one Bridget, <laughs> I guess. I guess. Oh, that's unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but at least we get turn one Bridget. And it could help because I don't want to. <laughs> Because Clement's like, that, that's your supporter for the turn, right? It doesn't seem ideal. Please don't be prized, Bridget. Thank you. No, Nyx is, that's the same Nyx. It's just he has a new account, so. Greatest hand ever, dude, that is a game. Uh, what else? We have we don't have a Lele prize, which is good, but we do have a Raichu prize, which is keep, just good to keep in mind. Mm, let's see. Is there anything else I want to do? Not really. 
I get Magneton. Actually, I probably won't get Magneton. I'll probably just stick with getting Raichu next turn and playing N. Hopefully my opponent doesn't play anything crazy. The Lele leads are scary against Ninetales because Ninetales can hit big numbers. My opponent's apparently stuck though, which is good for me. We can drop... I don't like losing a stretcher, but I think we have to. Yeah, I'll drop these two. We'll get Raichu and play N. We can at least start doing damage this turn, and that's what matters. The damage. Alright, hopefully we can get Rare Candy Magnezone into an energy. Nice. We didn't get an energy, but what I can do is I can try to get a Ranguru and draw something. Which I think I will do. Because I don't I want to try to get at least one energy. I mean we we do play an eleven count. It's pretty heavy. If we can just draw one single energy, we'll be in a good position. Just one. All we need is one. All we need is one. Every time I see a top of the day called Swampert, you right. Let's just draw one single energy, just so I can start attacking. Nice. The boys! We're losing our last Lele, but we still have a Rescue Stretcher in the deck. And there we go. That is the deck I was trying to trying to get to set up. But we have lost three Ultra Balls. We only have one left, which is fine. We have pretty much all the Pokemon we need. We just need to get one more Raichu. We lost a Stretcher, which is not ideal. But we're okay for the time being. Raichu's attacks! Raichu's attacks are Powerful Spark, 20 damage plus 20 more damage for each lightning energy on, on your side of the field. Thunder, 160 damage, but you do 30 damage to yourself. Volt, uh, Voltail GX, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. They hit us for the damage. Where's my Acerola, bro? Or did I take out Acerola? I don't remember. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, choice Band. I might have to retreat this. Just so we don't get knocked out. Ninetales shouldn't be able to knock me out. I guess I can knock him out with this anyways. I don't see a way that he can get a return knockout unless he gets a Lele DCE. 20, 40, 60, 80. Then he would need another choice band as well. But I need to do 110 damage, 120 damage. I mean, six energies, which I do not have. So we're going to have to attach a choice band to the active. Three here, Bloodstone here, Choice Band here, draw with this, okay, that's awkward, but I guess we have to keep going, Powerful Spark for Knockout. And the other issue with Raichu is that the damage output isn't as good as people think it is. Raikou and my last Raichu, alright, well that's awkward things to throw away, but we got No, Lil and Vulpix? Or what do you think Raichu Tapu Koko GX could be a thing? I mean, you play a well, you play a one of Tapu Koko and one of or two of in the deck, right? So, like, if you want to consider the one of two of as a thing, then guys, guys, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Just kidding. Food is good, guys. Eat your food. <laughs> so the thing is, right? He can um, he can GX attack me for knockout, but he can regular regular attack me for knockout as well. This hand is looking kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> what I think I will do is probably get another Pikachu down next turn. So I'm gonna let this be knocked out by um, hitting him with a Thunder. One, two, three, four, five. But that's 190. 190 doesn't knock out anything except for Lele's though. Which is also kind of awkward, so I don't think I do want to do that. I could Voltage, force him to GX, or force him to switch. But if he puts too many energies on the field, since it's water. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm hitting him for 130. Nothing gets knocked out by 130 except for a Ranguru. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with Powerful Spark. Because I'm afraid of the GX attack, right? I have to, be, I have to play around it. 150, yeah. So nothing gets knocked out by 150. Because he can't Choice Band to increase that damage if he's going to GX. If he attacks this and knocks it out, 
We get a revenge knockout. We get another Pikachu down. We're good. Or I want to start uh, cough robbing banks cough for money for a PC. Dude, I would love a PC personally. Imagine streaming without all that background fan noise and stuff like that. Whew. The big life. <laughs> Can I make a deck with Mew and a Mewtwo GX? I probably won't make a Mewtwo GX deck because Mewtwo GX isn't good. I'll probably do it a little bit long of way down the road, but Mewtwo GX inherently is not a good card. I don't want to play an energy. I, if I if I were to play an energy, right, that means I'd hit him for 170. 170 means he GX attacks and knocks out my Lele. I don't want to do that, so. Math. The math. If he Guzma's me, he doesn't really do much. I guess he can put spread damage on my Raichu, but uh, it's like whatever. It's not a big deal. The only thing that's awkward is that he can... Let's see if he GX attacks me this turn. Will he GX attack me this turn? I don't know. I guess that would be a bad play because that puts everything in range. And then he doesn't get knocked out next turn. So that'd be kind of awkward. See you later, Gamer Tamer. Let's see. Will he GX? Let's find out. I guess he has to because he attached the energy. So he's going to GX. Is there a way for me to knock him out next turn? I would have to hit 210. I really doubt it. So I would need to get another choice which we only play a two of. I think I have voltage. I think I have voltage. I want to save the energy for Pikachu, but I have these two, so I think I'll be okay. I think this turn I'll voltage. He has a low hand size. We'll paralyze him. We can get the knockout the following turn. This stops me from being knocked out as long as he doesn't play like a N or, or a Guzma or a Surprise Acerola. Pokemon is a good game. You're right. Hey, or CPL Season 4. Dude, I'm thinking about making CPL a, v a VGC season. Because I've been considering it, right? And now that VGC, the rules for VGC has been announced. Oh my god, he has another Ultra Ball. Okay, so we're going to get knocked out here. Assuming he gets Guzma. But he gets another Pikachu down. We Ultra Ball. We play our Energy Recyclers. And then we Sycamore. So we'll be okay. I've been thinking about Now that we know that VGC is uh, with Mega's back and plays with the National decks. Uh, once the VGC scene starts to develop, I would like to do another competitive Pokemon League. Uh, which is what the CPL stands for. On and just make it a VGC thing. That could be a lot of fun. What did he grab? He didn't grab anything? Oh, he grabbed Ninetales? Oh, okay. That's weird. So DC knocks his head. Dude, I was really hoping he'd get a knockout because I don't want to do anything yet. I guess we'll just get our own knockout here. Ice Blade will knock this out. Whatever, we'll just get our own knockout. Ninetales has been easy to beat tonight. I beat it with Torkoal and just now with uh, Arbok. That's because you're playing bad Ninetales players, bro. Ninetales should not be easy to beat. Yes, and I'll do Meme Team Numero Dos. It probably won't be draft league though. It would probably just be like, hey, these are my friends. We're all going to play. Oh, he did. Hold on. He had the Guzma the whole time. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be awkward. Okay. I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. So I have to attach my energies to this. Hmm. I see what he's doing. I don't want to end him. He can't knock this out. Not with an ice blade. I could shoot for the floatstone place, but we only play two, so there's no way I can do that. I am. I technically could have. Ah, oh, you know what? I messed up there. I could have played Guzma for game. I definitely could have played Guzma for game. Oh. Wait a minute. Do I have another Lele? I thought my other one was in the discard pile. 
I could have Guzman for game there, so I messed up there. Yeah, yeah, my, no, I couldn't have because my lady is in the discard pile. That's what I thought. VGCPL? Dude, that sounds sounds sexy. Yeah, for some reason, VS1 Warp Energies aren't showing up when you're available for trades. That's weird. I did put them for trades, so I don't know, maybe reset. I don't want to end. So let's do this first. Put this in the discard pile. We have five energies left. I don't think we'd be able to win this turn. Is my favorite deck still nine? Yes, Nine Tails is always my favorite deck because it's one of my favorite Pokemon. I can't help myself. It's a beautiful, lovely Pokemon. Unless he gets a choice ban, he shouldn't be able to knock me out next turn, but just in case, I'll set up Pikachu. Oh, whoops! No! I wanted to click my discard pile! Ah, man! Oh, no! <laughs> I wanted to click my discard pile! Oh, no, 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 no. This is... Oh, he got the knockout anyways, but that's so bad! I was clicking my discard pile, not done! Oh, no. Oh, the misclicks, bro. The misclicks. The misclicks. I'm so mad. Zoroark Lycanroc? Zoroark Lycanroc's really good in Expanded. It's probably going to be the deck I play the most in Expanded. Because I love Zoroark, bro. Zoroark's such a cool attacker. That's so upsetting, though. I can't believe I misclicked like that. Oh, man. Oh, man. I just want to click my discard pie. I want to see how many energies were down here. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. Oh, that's so bad. We can still kind of win. We'll see. Because we have Raichu, we have Guzma. We hit for 1690 right now. We can still get energy re retrieval. No, I don't think we can. And there's all my Guzmas, bro. They all showed up at once, my dudes. Uh, we actually, two Guzmas win me the game. So if he can't get a knockout next turn, we win. As long as he can't, like, Guzma me. I mean, he played a bunch of Guzmas already. He played two. So... Let's see if we can get off this. Lightning energy. Could prove to be good. Uh, throw it down on you. We'll Guzma up a Lele. Force him to attach there. That way, he, either he has to find Aqua Patch or he has to attach to the active and not to the Nine Tails. And then we just do this twice. So even if he does retreat, as long as we can do it next turn as well, we win. Or oh, remember when I just clicked done and said this card pile? Bro, I totally remember. How embarrassing am I, right? Rockruff is a great Pokemon, dude. I don't blame you. <laughs> Suffer the consequences. The blower! That's awkward. Does he get rid of my float stones or does he get rid of my choice band? What is his option? Because now that we have an energy on this Pokemon, it's not a big deal to just retreat. Yeah, that's what I thought. See what he does. Does he have Guzma? He needs Guzma, Aqua Patch. Oh no, he just needs Aqua Patch, Guzma, Energy Attachment, Guzma, and he just knocks out a Lele for game. But does he have it? Uh oh. Does he have a Water Attachment for the turn? Did we just lose? I think we just lost. No. I would have won too. I would have won just by. Oh. What's happening? I would have won if I didn't just misclick that turn. Oh, that okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. That was a smart play. I mean, we still win, but like, I would have, I would have won otherwise. Ah, that's so frustrating. All right, so that should be GG. Luckily, we got, we got pretty lucky. I'm not gonna lie, but we, that's game. We just get a knockout here. How on, man? That was that was annoying. <laughs> that was annoying. As you can see, like, the damage output for Raichu is not that great. That's my thing with Raichu, right? Like, it, it seems cool in theory. But the damage output just isn't there. I don't know. Maybe there's better builds. Maybe there's going to be better builds. But the only thing that you could change about this guild build is cons its consistency. You could have attached to Raichu and hit for 190 right there. Oh, I had Choice Band. Oh, you're right. I totally had Choice Band. I forgot about its first attack. 
Oh, gotta get used to these ones. I'm probably gonna play, play another game, but I also want to play some Venusaur tonight. I want to up the choice band count. I feel like that's super important, and I don't like because like that's the thing. Like right, you think right, you hits for a lot, but it doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. I think less energy, more choice band. That's the first thought, so that we don't clunk up early game. I never played the Skyla, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. What's the next project after Insurgents? Reborn on Twitch. The next live, the next Nuzlocke live stream will be Reborn on Twitch. Hmm, three one three is fine. Four three line is fine. Um, Raikou. I honestly don't see myself ever attacking with Raikou. Because if I want a non-GX attacker, I could attack with Zone. So I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm ever going to use Raikou. It's cool and all, but I don't think it's worth it in the deck. I'll take out Raikou. What's my Twitch? Uh, what is my Twitch? Is it Orbomb, AB, or AB Orbomb, one or the other? I'll check trades in one second, bro. Uh, four, one, three, two, two. I like everything. I don't like only playing one stretcher, but gotta do what you gotta do. I think that's it for now. We'll definitely play this deck again tomorrow. So be on the lookout. I don't know what I'm going to record for tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to record anything for tomorrow. I don't think I have time. Add some elixirs and go Pikachu before you evolve. Then you lose consistency, bro. Like, after one thing gets knocked out, boom, you already lose 40 extra damage. And the damage output's bad, even with Raichu. Without it, it's going to be even worse, bro. Shining Mew, Delphox. Bro, you got to understand that Shining Mew, you have to have a Psychic Energy. Or a Rainbow. Reborn is hard. I know, that's why. I'm not going to Nuzlocke it. I'm just going to play it. I might do like a soft lock or something. Uh, Genesect. Reborn looks like fun though. I want to play a one of Oranguru in this deck. We will take something out. You don't need fire for Delphox. But its attack requires a fire energy. Oh no, you don't actually. But what's the point? Like, can't you just play Turtonator? <laughs> use his GX attack, use the Delphox break to accelerate fire energies and just be better off. But I guess it would be nice to have like that two energy attachment from DCEs, which is really good early game. I don't know, it could be fun. I could definitely throw it into my list I already have. What do I drop? I think I drop one energy. You need the choice. This, is like, this list is a lot more consistent. So that's gonna be nice, at least on paper. I'll drop one energy. Hopefully it doesn't whip and break us break us up too much. Maybe, hopefully. We'll drop one. <clears throat> Alright, we'll try Venus from Genesect. We'll give this a couple of goes. Mallow to replace Skyla. I'll be playing Mallow in um What's it called? Dex and Zoark Dex, but in in that in that in that deck it probably isn't the best. In the um, in the Raichu deck, bro, I have barely eaten today. I'm just taking random like scoops of macaroni. This is my only food I had today. I also kind of want to build um, Zoark Genesect, or not Zoark Genesect, Zoark um, Galissapod and Zoark Ninetales. <clears throat> yeah, Bula's cool because you just attach two energies to attack instead of one, instead of three, I mean, which is nice. Max Luxor is cool. <clears throat> I like Genesect as an attacker. Opening hand is kind of Garbo. And it sucks as I have to end. <laughs> are we going first? We are going first. 
I guess I'll play them both down. Is Sil Valley Shining Legends of the other expansion? Yeah, it's gonna be in Crimson Invasion. Venusaur, dude, Mega Beedrill, Venusaur's gonna be fun when I play it. Crimson Invasion. What is my opponent playing? I don't know. They just led with Espeon. Everyone and, my mother, everyone and their mother plays Espeon now. Because Gardevoir's broken. What are they playing? They're playing Ninetales? Yeah, they're playing Ninetales. Okay, cool. More Ninetales, though. This is interesting. So, the awkward part about Ninetales, right, is that even though we can only attack for two energies, even though we can attack for two energies, I mean, uh, Ninetales GX is going to be really hard to play around. The good thing is Tapu Bulu Oko's Ninetales. Oh, this hand's not bad. We have Turmoil Bridges. Oh, that's actually, this hand's not bad at all. Um, if I could top deck a Venusaur somehow, that'd be the best. Uh, Bridget will give me two Pokemon. Do I want two Pokemon? I kind of do want two Pokemon. <clears throat> Play Flowstone here, and I'll just Bridget. We can't evolve this turn. I mean, it'd be nice to Max Elixir, but there's not really a need to. This helps thin the deck out. We definitely want Bulu down. I think I want a second Genesec. I think we'll hold off on the Muse as Muse get O-Code, so we definitely don't want to play that. We'll play a second Bulbasaur just in case he knocks it out. We have all four Max Elixirs. We have eight energies left, so we have one energy prized. Uh, I don't really want a field blower yet. I do just want to retreat. <laughs> I do definitely want to retreat. And we'll go into Genesect here. One more energy after we can evolve, we'll get a knockout. So if I can top deck a Ultra Ball, I probably wouldn't play it, to be honest, but it's an option. I could draw one right now. Let's just draw one right now. No harm in it. We do, you know, we don't have a Garbodor that we have to worry about. If I can get a Venusaur right now, clean, clean top decks. Max looks. I'll take Max looks here. Um, nope, we whiffed. That sucks. <laughs> Unfort. All right, we'll just pass. You can't play Forest anymore, bro. Forest is banned, Noah. God. By the way, guys, don't forget to like stream if you have an, if you have an, uh, if you have int already. Why was that so hard for me to say? Okay, so Nine Tails is out. Nine Tails is scary in this matchup, so we gotta be careful. Goozer. I really don't wanna play Goozer. So I'll just Sycamore. See you, War Plus Mod. See you later, Nitrates, bro. Okay, we whiffed the Venusaur, which isn't great. I'll touch down here. I feel like it's smarter. We will drop this to get an Ivysaur down. Sycamore next turn, get Venusaur, and go from there. We gotta, we gotta keep the uh, Bulu alive. I might even, <clears throat> I might even play like an energy on the Bulu just to play safe. But we can use our ability to move our energies around just in case. Which is why I made that play. Plus, we only need two energies to attack. Oh yeah, they banned Boris, dude. It's completely banned. It's gone. It's donezo. It's over. <laughs> Giant force a giant plant or like force of giant no no more none. I'm so tired. I had to pep. Hey, what's up Pat? What's up, bro? How you doing my dude? Literally just got home. Dude it is late, bro. I'm sorry. Must have had a rough day So we go become Venusaur next turn we attach an energy to Bulu Hopefully get a couple max elixirs and stuff off of this and maybe we can just start attacking with Bulu That'd be ideal. So now we can retreat and start putting damage on the board. Field blower is awkward. It's not the worst thing ever though. He doesn't get a knockout, which is the which is good. Can you play an unlimited? I don't know. Probably. I don't know if unlimited is like a real tier. <laughs> Abyssal hand for four. They lost a goose one, right? So they only have two more left. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> that's gonna be super annoying. That's gonna be really annoying to deal with. 
Guess we gotta start damaging it. It's not what I wanted to do, but... We still have two stretchers. Actually, no, shouldn't we replace... No, we don't need to replace the stretchers. I wanted stretchers for the Lele's as well. We still have two stretchers, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and evolve one. And... I'm going to attach here, because Blue's gonna be kinda big. Uh, oh, whoops. Probably shouldn't have done that. Well, we'll see how lucky we get. We'll see how good lucky we get. I dropped my like, pass me this list on Discord. We'll do, bro. We'll do, brother. Um, yeah, we have our stretcher. See if we can land a couple of these. Nope. <laughs> we are getting super unlucky tonight, guys. N oh my god, we whiffed three? There's like, oh my god, come on. <laughs> There's eight energies in there. And we whiffed three of them. All right, give me, give me out of here. I don't want energy reload yet. I'll hold off on it. He's going to devolve me again next turn. Oh my god, we whiffed three and all of our choice bands. Every single choice band. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, tonight's not the night, dude. Tonight is not the night for Pokemon. No, the damage is being spread. What's he doing? Is he going for that? That's interesting. He didn't devolve it though, so we do become do we so we do get Venusaur this turn, which is nice. <clears throat> I want to attack with Bulu. So I think I will. Well we'll we'll see. We'll see first. I'm gonna attach with Bulu, that's for sure. I'm gonna attach to Bulu for sure. And I'm gonna play N, and if I get choice ban, I'm gonna just get a knockout here. Dude, there's four choice bands in this deck. Can we not today? Can we just not today? Please. I will go ahead and energy reload. Oh, we can move them from anywhere? Bro, that's wild. Can I cancel this? I didn't know that's how this worked. Uh. Sure. That's not what I wanted to do. But you know what? This this is fine. We're not attacking the blue this turn anyway, so it actually is perfectly okay. Okay, so that's how that it's, that's how that ability works. There's four there's four choice pants. <laughs> Come on. Have we got any? There we haven't gotten any. I'm actually, I thought there was at least one or two in the discard pile, but no, we just whiffed every choice band. One third of the deck and through, and we haven't landed any of our four choice bands. That's always cool. So he's probably gonna knock this out, right? He might GX me this turn just to get a knockout here. Which would be fine. Okay, so ideally we hit a max elixir. But there's only one left, so we're probably not gonna hit it. I have to Sycamore. I could Guzma, but I think I'd rather Sycamore. So we're not gonna attack with Mew. Alright, we just finished playing a couple bunch of Raichu. We did some Raichu testing. I'm not the biggest fan of Raichu Raichu. To the, uh, as some people can tell you, but I think I'm just going to Sycamore here. Sure. Sure. Hey, there's a choice band. <laughs> Dope. All right, let's go ahead and get our Genesect back. Eh, should we? I hit for 200, but that's not enough. We whiffed all of our max looks. It was completely ruined this game for me. It just completely ruined this game. I can hit for 160, 200 with this energy, so it's not worth. I don't. This might be good to keep around. I played earlier, ran four Sycamores, four and four, 12, three ladies, multiple games. I don't see any of those until we until way late game. Pretty much, bro. This game is garbage. Dude, if I attack with Mew, Mew has 40 HP. So, or 50 HP, which gets O-Code by Ninetales with, with Ice Blade. So, it's, it's going to give him, every time I attack with Mew, it's a free prize. The only thing Mew's going to do for me is give me a knockout on Espeon. Now, I could get Guzma. I should have two more Lele's left. So I could get Guzma and uh, knock out one of these things from full. Probably this one since it has the choice band. If I had my other field blower, it would be ideal. So I think I'm actually going to hold off on attacking 
Because I, I want to get rid of all the Choice Banded Ninetales. Because once I get rid of all the Choice Banded Ninetales, Blue is going to have a field day. Let's even get an attack off, though. If he can get a knockout, I should say. But I Oko the active in exchange of giving him a free prize. I can Oko the active with my other Pokemon as well. <clears throat> But if I do have to attack with Mew, I will. Well, the thing is, I also need energies. Mew, Mew, doesn't, Mew doesn't just copy attacks for free. So that was actually really smart on his part. That was super duper smart on his part. So he's going to try to get rid of this, which is also a good play. I have one fit. Okay, that's four attacks. So that's actually really good. So I can Guzma, which I think I will Guzma. Seems ideal. So I get a knockout there. So that's one of his choice banded attackers gone. And then I can finish off the other one with that. What's left in the deck? We have a Max Luxor and three Energies. Cool. And three Choice Bands. So it's not, it's not that they're not in the deck, I'm just completely whiffing them. Dope. I think I should probably force him to attack Genesec, but I don't want to whiff any more Choice Bands. I would like to end my opponent, but... Because we can't really afford it. Alright, we're going to knock out here. Almost must click again. Gaia Blaster. Dude, hitting for 130 with just two energies is kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. It's our Sycamore. Good, because we were out of supporters in the deck. So if he does end me, at the very least, I have two draw supporters in the deck. Alright, let's see what my opponent does. Because he can attack me, he can get a knockout, then I get a return knockout. The thing is, I want to knock this one out, because this one will knock, this one will blow me away, if I'm not careful. I mean, I technically do have Stretcher, but I only have one Max Luxor left. Another thing I can... Oh, he's... Okay, good. He's attacking with this one. Oh, is he going for the Bulu? No, he was smart. Smart players, no. Okay. So now I'm going to have to try to get a manual attachment into a Max Luxor. Now, ideally, I do get it. Ideally, I do get it. And that would change the game for me. But I could whiff it. I am going to Sycamore here. So the chances of me whiffing it are super duper low because I'm only going to have two cards left in the deck. But <laughs> it could happen. That's what scares me. I think I'm going to play Rescue Stretcher first. Put the cards back, Ultra Ball for it, and then Sycamore. I just think that's the better play. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to put one Mew back because Mew's actually going to be able to get an Oko on this. Once again, Mew needs two energies. We just don't have two energies to put on Pokemon right now. We're not going to whiff any Choice Bands. I'm going to tell myself that right now. We're not going to whiff Choice Bands. We can hit 200 for Genesect. So. But I can't manually attach for a turn. I hate that I got that energy there. That was actually one of the worst draws I could have got. Oh, that means I have to use, I have to get Bulu now. I don't have a choice. I have to get Bulu right now. I wanted to put the Muse back and stuff like that so I can get a knockout on Espeon easily. But this is my play. He can de He's going to try to devolve me and knock out my Venusaur at some point, which is going to be kind of awkward. But, you know, what can he do? Do I end or do I Sycamore? I mean, I guess I Sycamore because... My opponent's going to get his cards back regardless. We have Lele. Okay, so all we need to do is land a Max Elixir. So... That means one of the remaining cards needs to not be an energy. So hopefully we don't draw all the energies here. Okay. All right. <laughs> all of our choice fans. Oh, uh, this is going to be awkward. We don't have any more ends. The other end is going to be in the prizes. So we have to get them off the prizes as well. <clears throat> but at the very least, we do get a big knockout here. And we don't have any more Guzmas. I don't want to play anything else down. All right. So we Nature's Madness for Knockout. So we need like a Guzma. We definitely need N. That's ideal. And a Guzma so we don't lose. Nope. So we lose. <laughs> we lose. Oh, we, we don't have any more Guzmas left anyways. If we had another flowstone, that'd be nice as well. We don't, but if we did, it would be nice. 
So I want to play four flow zones. Oh, why do you make that play? Oh, it's still a two retreat cost. Never mind. Unless he's going for the knockout here and he's going to try to win with Espeon. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. We hit for 200 though. What is he doing? Oh, I guess he, uh, he's playing smart. What am I talking about? He's playing pretty smart. He's, he's, he knows what he's doing. Ninetales players are always really smart players because they have to play smart to play this deck. So this gets knocked out. And I think we lose. Yeah. Uh, how do we win this? There's not a way. Because we hit for 20, 40, 60 extra damage. 110, 140 with choice band. We don't have a way to evolve into Venusaur or a way to retreat. Unfort. All right. So we know what the changes we have to make. Float zones are important. Choice bands are important. That's why I keep telling people that choice bands are like feel like float zones are super important. That's why we play such a high count all the time. I didn't like I didn't like reducing down to two or three or whatever. That's why you see world winning decks play four counts. All right. So let's change what we have to change. One. What do I want to change? Definitely want to make this four. I want to increase this as well. I'm glad I played two of these and two of these. I might have to just drop Skyla. Or drop a Mew. Play the Mew as a one of. Hmm. I need to not whiff you, which is why I want to play more basic energies. I can make this a 2-1-2 line instead of a 3-1-2 line. Which, if we get Bridget, is fine. So, I'm going to try to do that, and hopefully I don't whiff turn 1, turn 1 Bridget's. Because I am playing 3 Lele's, 3 Lele's for Ultra Balls. Hmm. I think this is fine. I mean, the deck overall was pretty fun. It was pretty good. I, I like this way more than I like Raichu. So, uh, I'm probably going to make this one of the first videos I record. But I do want to keep working on it. So, we'll play probably another game or two before we head out. Because I do want to get some sleep tonight because I have work tomorrow. We'll play another game. Bad move? What's the bad move? Give the three bulbs or add a second Bridget. I don't know, man. I kind of like, I don't know, I don't know. Because I'm, I'm thinking about it like Vikabulu. And Vikabulu plays like practically a, like it usually plays a 3-1-3 line. But in this case, since you don't really want to stack your Venusaurs, you don't really need, you only really, you only really need to focus on getting one. Which is why, which is why I play the uh, two stretchers. Why did you like the Raichu? Because Raichu doesn't hit hard enough. It's cool, like it's it's dope and all, but like it just doesn't hit hard enough. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might put the Bulbasaur back in. Alright, let's see what happens. So this is probably gonna be hitting me for 150 every turn. 150 isn't bad, because we're 160 HP, which is good. Which also, he doesn't hit 150 against us anyways. Only 120 at most. So, we need to top deck something though, because now we're stuck. That's my opponent playing. Alright, cool. Hmm, okay, what could I talk like? I have two Lele's, four Ultra Balls, and a Bridget. We didn't get them. That's fine, though. We can at least start doing this. If he blowers it, it's not a big deal, so we'll just pass. We'll 
go see what happens. I need to get something. I need an Ultra Ball or a Rangaroo. Ultra Ball, a Rangaroo, Bridget, Lele's, one of those. I need to draw one of those. Actually, I don't even need Bridget that much. I just need to like draw. That's why I want to play like a Zoark. I really want to play Zoark very, really bad. Zoark so consistent. It's so beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited to play Zoark. Zoark Glitch Spot seems like the way to go for the time being. I'm gonna try Zoark and Ninetales as well over a Rangaroo. But I don't know. I don't I, that that one I'm in defense about. The only the only thing I don't like, the only thing that like scares me about Ninetales is uh is Gardevoir. That's like the only matchup that like terrifies me. Because even like Guzma, even not Guzma, even uh, Metagross you can beat just by devolving and stuff like that. But like Diancy, Diancy Gardevoir are pretty scary. <clears throat> There's the Hoopa. Hoopa's not a big deal because we played Genesect. And he can GX attack me <laughs> and knock out my Lele right now if he wanted to. That's, un that's unfortunate. Let's see if he chooses to do so. Nope. Just hits me for 130. And are we gonna... Yep, that's game. No point. No point. <clears throat> really love when that happens. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about that, though. Sure. Hopefully we don't whiff too many elixirs. Dude, it's hard to like stream <laughs> with a with a lurky chat. This is so weird for me. I know this never happens. I guess it's kind of late though. I'm probably gonna end the stream soon. I will just stream tomorrow. We have so many people here. By the way, guys, like like the stream if you haven't already. It's always greatly appreciated. There we go. That's a much better opening hand. Turn one Bridget, energy attachment, ultra ball for another Lele. Oh, I like this. I am a fan. We can we can also Skyla for rare candy and then attack. Ooh. Scary. Scary. Hopefully we don't have Bridget prized. There it is. There it is. Alright, it's prized, so we gotta play around this. Grab Sycamore and just go all in. I could also end, but I think I'd rather Sycamore. We just like this. Oh, somebody did a long time ago, bro. It's alright, this happens. Let's Ultra Ball. Let's try to get a Bulbasaur down. What is prized? We have a Lele prized. Everything else is fine, though, from looks of it. We have all three rare candies. Oh, I didn't check the stretchers. I probably should check the stretch count. <clears throat> More Bulbas and a thing here. I don't want to play that down yet, though. I will in a second, but not yet. So I want to keep those bench spaces open. I'll pass for now. A very mini weenie. <laughs> Alright, I see what my opponent can do. Hopefully they are going to be stuck. That'd be ideal. If we can get a turn... Oh, he's going to end. Uh, that's fine. That's why I didn't want to play the thing, though. If I don't have to play Blue, I don't want to, because Blue doesn't really help me too much in this matchup. Choice Bend is 120, which is cool, I guess, but like, oh man, this hand sucks. But my opponent's stuck, so we're going to go for the Venusaur. <laughs> Top deck rare candy right now. Nope. Uh, there's nobody I really want to attach this to. I can attach it to you, I suppose. Attach this to you. I don't want to whiff the Venusaur neck play, so I'm going to actually shuffle this back. I am just going to Sycamore, because if I can get lucky here, or even if I can get a Max Luxor Energy attached for the turn, then I win. Which is not going to be the case. Ah, <laughs> oh, sad. Sad. 
So we could lose next turn, which is scary. We are super stuck again. Oh man. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Guardy's gonna be a problem. Let's see what happens. If he gets Guardy off of this, and he attaches an energy, we just kind of lose. So that's going to be unfortunate. So no rare candy Gardevoir, that'd be ideal. Nice, okay. That, that's nice. At least we can knock out the Ralts, which is an issue. Uh, which is good, good, good. Um, yep, we just energy reload. And we can do damage. And hopefully we can get something off these prizes. The chat is now goes. I mean, I can't really control, bro. It's late. Like, the main moderators that keep the chat going are not here. Or at least they're not talking. Um, this deck seems like it sucks. I mean, we just had an amazing first game. But it's these these Shiny Legends decks, they're not the best. They're just new. <laughs> like, nobody, nobody was in the... Nobody was going, dude, I can't wait to freaking win a tournament with Raichu. Like, nobody was doing that. <laughs> Nobody was saying Venus or Genesec. Now, the cool thing about Genesec, and what is my favorite thing about Genesec, is that we finally have a basic grass attacker that's easy to attack. So in the case of, like, if you're playing um, Drampagarb or something along the lines of that, or any deck that plays Rainbow DCEs, you now have an answer to, uh, to, to what's it called? You now have an answer to the, what's it called? Greninja. Because Greninja can be knocked out with Gaia Blaster after weakness. Greninja Break can't, because it's 140. If you only have one, uh, if you only have one rainbow, but if you have two rainbows, it's a knockout. Now the cool thing about this is that if I get Venusaur, I can knock out this thing with a choice band because we do hit it's 200 with a choice band. We do play the choice. We have choice band in our hand, so we're gonna try to make that play while trying to get up another Genesect as well. What's up, Portuguese bro? Long time no see. That's awkward. It doesn't reduce our damage, but that's super awkward because now we can't play Lele. Oh, it's so bad. That's like super duper bad. So maybe we can top deck a field blow or something. Oh, that's really annoying. Yeah, Insurgence is so... I'm so... Ah, man. Insurgence is such a pain. It's so hard to grind once you're that high of a level. There's no trainers to battle or anything like that. Let's see if we can top deck, but this is, this is not ideal. <laughs> if I can top deck Venusaur... Attach an energy and choice band, we do get an. I don't even know. I, no, I just need a top deck Venusaur. Can I top deck Venusaur or an Ultra Ball? Oh, that's unfortunate. I wish I never shuffled in that other one now. Mm. We'll attach just because we want energies on different Pokemon. There's no point in attaching the choice band right now, though. So we're just gonna Gaia Blaster. So he's gonna get his Gardevoirs out, and now I'm gonna lose. Ah oh, man, if only he didn't have that stupid freaking parallel. Oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> I'm having those a frustrating time today. Alright. What's he got? Double Guardy. Once again, three, uh, four energies in Choice Man will knock out Guardies. The only thing is, is that I need to, you know, draw Max Elixirs, land the Max Elixirs. Hmm. Too much, too much going on. Does he have enough energies to attack? I don't even think he has energies to attack. But he just needs one energy and he gets a knockout. Does he whiff it? Does he have a fairy? You need a fairy. And I don't have bench space, so if he does knock me out, I've, even if I play Lele, I don't have an attacker. Like, my attacker would be would be uh, top of Lele, and whenever you attack with Gardevoir, it always counts for double energy, which means it's like I have six energies, more or less. Of course, he's going to get fair energy now. Like, see, none of these decks are good against the current meta. That's the issue, right? Like, you're not going to be winning against Gardevoir. Drampa Garb is a little bit rough, of, a little bit of a rough matchup. Oh, we didn't even. Okay. Okay. So that's knockout on Guardi. If anything. That's 230, right? Uh, 40, 80, 120, 170, 200, 240. Nice. I'll take it.
I'll take it. I probably shouldn't have attached here, but whatever. Guy Blaster. <clears throat> the price exchange is good, though. That's nice. And there's our Field Blower, which is good, because now we can actually do something. He's going to knock me out, though. <laughs> He's probably going to knock me out. That's good, Portuguese. So, what do I want to do here? Acerola, that's a good play. And he's going to knock me out. We will have two energies, assuming we can land one next turn, which is good. Maybe I should play Super Odd over a second stretcher, like just play a Super Odd instead. That could be useful. Is he going to end? That would be annoying. That would be really annoying if he ended me, because I really want to keep this field blower. That would be super annoying if he ends me. Don't do it, bro. Don't play the end. Okay, good. He already played Ace Roller, so he actually can't play the end anyways. I feel like this deck has the most potential out of all the new decks, except for Zoark variants. We have a float stone, so we'll go ahead and do this. We can get the Genesect back, put that on the field. Up you and you. Killer, I swear. Play you down. I'm probably just gonna Sycamore, to be honest. So we need to land a bunch of Max Luxers. <laughs> That's the goal. We haven't played a single one yet. We are over halfway through our deck. So what I want to do here is land a couple max elixirs. And that's it, really. I, I want to attack with Baby Mew as well. Although it's not going to help me too much right now. Brahma, hey, can you was Mwazong me to ask you if you should play Octillery and Gardevoir Sylveon? Who's Kidney? What's up, Brahma Titar, by the way? Oh, man, this is not ideal. This is not ideal. I guess we can attack with Genesect this turn, which is nice. If I land this, of course. Of course. <laughs> I should have landed it first. Um, I mean, what am I going to do? I have a Bulbasaur. I guess. Like, I can't do anything. That's unfortunate. Oh, Sexy Kidney? I don't know, probably. I play Arangu personally. I like having another attack here against Ninetales. But you could play Octillery too. I mean, the the list this list is playing Octillery. There's a lot of like you can go either or. It depends. That's all preference. I prefer. I've always preferred Arangu over Octillery after play testing with Arangu. I play testing with Octillery a lot. Octillery clunks me a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> Early game, it's so frustrating to deal with. But, late game, it's super duper good. But Orangru is just easy. You play it down, you draw. That's why I like Orangru. But, at the same time, you're not drawing nearly as much as you would with, with Octillery. And it's also depending on your deck, right? Because your deck has to play a lot of... You have to have the ability to play down your hand. So, it all depends on your build. Hi, can you reply to my comment? And also, I'm playing a Machamp carping deck. How is your opinion on my deck? I mean, that's the best way to play Machamp. If you want to play Machamp. The best way to play it is with carping, so... That's good. What's my opponent doing? Oh, is he GXing? Oh! That's giving me an extra turn. That was a good time to play, uh, play it. If I can land this... Please and thank you, because I want to knock out Octillery. Come on! Come on! 10 energy should be enough. It should be enough. For the love of God. Please help me.
This is insanity. This is actually insanity. Whatever. How did I whiff two? There's still four more left in the deck, and it's an 18 card deck. Man, I am whiffing. I no, there's no point, dude. It's, today's not a good day for Pokemon. Like, there's some days that are good days. Some days I get 15 game win streaks, and I get to show it off. Other days, this happens. So I'm, I'm, get, I'm, get, I'm getting done. I'm, I'm mentally, I'm mentally done. Pokemon is, Pokemon has taken its toll on me. <laughs> not the Goozers. What's he doing? Seems like an awkward play, but I mean that's fine. I was hoping he'd get a knockout on something, but whatever. I, oh, I, I see why he just had to retreat. Okay, are we gonna whiff this one as well? I don't think it matters though, even if we do land it. I want him to knock something out, so I'm just gonna let him do it. Whatever. Okay, let him knock out the Lele, that is fine. Oh crap, now I wish I played it. <laughs> now I wish I did. I was hoping he would knock something out so I could just play down a Ranguru and then empty my hand and do stuff like that. But I mean, maybe we'll get maybe we'll get a hand now. Maybe we'll finally have cards. Nope, why would we have cards? The cards are for losers. One, two, three, four. So one more energy would be a knockout, but he doesn't get it. And we have Lele in our hand, which is nice. Just pass. Pass and give it to him. I have to play Sycamore next turn, so. I will need to land two Max Luxors, a manual attachment, and get a Choice Band, and then I can get game, pretty much. Because there's not much you can do after that. Man, the thing is, like, what do I, I have, I want to, if I could cut anything for an energy, it'd probably be Bulbasaur, but then people are going to get mad at me for cutting a Bulbasaur. <laughs> Which I can see, I can see the argument for, it's not like it's a bad argument. What are your thoughts on the Venusaur deck with Mega Venusaur EX? I think it's bad. I think, I think if relying on status conditions are bad because of Ace, because you gotta rely, realize that there's, every deck plays three Guzmas and then they have things like Ace Roll and stuff like that, which will completely mitigate the fact that you're paralyzing and stuff like that. It doesn't do anything for you. And Expanded, it could be fun because you have things like Verbang and stuff like that, but in Standard, it's not the best. That's why it's just like a fun meme deck. Plus you have Mega Turbo and Expanded as well, which is handy. All right, let's see what we can do. Sure. <clears throat> let's get a Sycamore here and hopefully land our cards. What is in the, oh, we don't have a Sycamore. <laughs> Never mind. Oh no. We have one max Luxor left, so our play is impossible regardless. Not to mention I have to land an energy. Which we already know is not gonna happen. Okay, what do I want to do? What do I want to do with this? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. 120. I have to get lucky. But I can get a 2 at KO if he doesn't have Acerola or a way to get it or a Max Potion. He whiffs all of his ways to get it, but he shuffled a bunch of cards back in. I don't. I don't think I can just sit here though. I'll lose. I'll lose if I just sit here. I think I want to. I, I have to attempt to get a knockout the following turn. So my only play is to attack with Lele, and hopefully not whiff next turn. Cause I'll just lose otherwise. <clears throat> so he'll knock me out. One, two, three, four, five. Technically, he needs one more energy to knock me out, but he'll probably knock me out or choice band. Let's see if he gets it. There's a guy, he actually got the Ace Arola too. Okay, he doesn't get a knockout though, which is good. So we get, this, we get to do damage, the play is still there. 
But it's still frustrating that he got that. That's super frustrating that he got that. Alright, so he doesn't get a knockout. Oh man, one, two, three, four, five. No, he does get a knockout. He didn't attach with it. To oh, oh man. Oh no. Dang it, he does get a knockout. That's game. That's game. Maybe I can top deck. I don't have any more Sycamores in the deck though, so what am I gonna top deck? Like, that sucks. We had a good chance. We, we, were, we were rolling. We were rolling against Gardevoir. Oh look, a Max Elixir land. Wow, <laughs> so mad. Um, I guess I can go into Sylveon and hope he whips a Flowstone or something. Sure, because he knocks out anything for game. I want to go into Lele to like just you know having a Pokemon that he has to attach an energy tour to to win the game with, but like, <laughs> like what else am I gonna do here? I just have to I just have to stall. Then I have to get another Guzman to knock out the Gardevoir since that's the biggest threat. There's so many things I gotta do. What's the worst Pokemon? The worst Pokemon is Samurai. That's a fact. That's just actually a fact. You can't argue it. That's the ugliest Pokemon. The worst card? I don't know. But no, the worst Pokemon is Samurai. Pokemon Samurai's a great. This is a horrible Pokemon. Horrible Pokemon. It's ugly. It's unfortunate, and it's it's like it's like it's like saying it's the worst Pokemon is just like it's an understatement. It's like it's like the most disappointing Pokemon. Game. <sighs> Sadness. So I, think, I mean, you should sell your codes, bro. Codes go get them, go for a good amount of money. I just don't know what to drop if I were to play a 11th energy. I don't want to drop choice bands and flow stones. You guys see how important they are. <laughs> like, they're super important to always have. Um, Shiny Giant Sect is good. You just, you're just you facing your worst matchup in Gardevoir. And you can beat Fire with Bulu, which is nice. Oh, I got check trade. I forgot, totally forgot check trades the first time. Um, thank you, Aaron. Sorry about that, Aaron. Um... What is this? Oh, I see. Oh, these are never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, I'm getting all this for a Vulpix. Thanks, bro. Oh, this is Red Sylveon. He always comes in the stream saying he wants to give me stuff. I appreciate you, big dog. I actually didn't have the Mega Swamper yet, so if I ever wanted to play with it, it's dope. Um, See, I can't do this, bro. That's the thing. Like, I want to, but I told you I can only give away one right now. Because I need to have at least three. So, like, I'm going to have to... Like, you can, re, you can reset the trade or whatever. But like I said, I can only give away one Venusaur right now. Tomorrow, if those other Venusaurs don't trade, uh, we can take a look at that. The seven packs... But that's what I was telling you. The Genesex are super duper dope. I want to get a couple myself. Let's take a look at the deck again. We're gonna keep testing tomorrow. I don't want to upload any. I don't want to upload any of these videos until I've, until I feel like I've tested it enough. So and these live streams can suffice as well for people that are craving the content but until i like i don't want to upload any shiny legends content until i feel very confident like the decks fan matchups i'll probably do fan matchups next week like i usually do them on the weekends right but shiny legends just came out i want to do a lot of testing so fan matchups are probably going to be coming coming back next weekend that's up to your channel oh thank you sponge um so we'll, we'll take a look at that later We'll do fan matchups for sure later. Uh, I could drop a stretcher, but dropping a stretcher seems scary. In this kind of deck, it seems pretty scary. Uh, I'll take a look at that. One second. 
I don't want to drop Guzmas and Sycamores or Skyla. I don't want to drop Lele because you kind of see how important they are. Definitely don't want to drop Field Blower. I could drop Mew, but then Mew is such a good matchup against Espeon, it's ridiculous. I could drop a Floatstone, but then that goes back to the issue that we had earlier. The only thing I see I could see myself dropping is a stretcher. But the only things get kind of scary, you know. You lose a lot of consistency just for an extra energy. And the extra energy is important as it is. I don't think it's I don't think it's worth that. That's why I was saying the only thing I want to drop is Bulbasaur. If I drop Bulbasaur, I could get stuck early game a lot. Yeah, Shining Legends itself isn't a great set. It's just, it has the same effect of, like, uh, Generations, right? You have, like, one really, really good card in it, being the uh, Jolteon of this set, a.k.a. the Zoark. And then everything else is kind of cool. They're really pretty, but in the standard format, they're not the best. Even Zoark is not, like, the best in standard. It just has a really, really good ability. What's the reason behind Bulu? It's your fire matchup, you Oko, with Nature's Judgment. You hit 180 with Nature's Judgment, which Oko's Volcanians. 210, which will, if you have choice bound, Oko's Ho O's and the. What's it called? Ho O's and the Turnators. <sighs> the Lele is good for your Espeon matchups, EX and GX. Hmm. The only thing I can see myself doing is dropping a stretcher and just hoping that the one stretcher is fine. What about test tube? Test tube Mewtwo is worth a lot of money. But that's for, it's, once again, it's collectors. It's not a good card. It's not like a playable card. It's just, uh, it's like the same thing with Hyper Rare Charger. It's a Mewtwo, so it's going to be worth money. I think it's worth like 65 right now. My uh, my buddy, my buddy Shannon, which is the owner of Cards and Comics, or not the owner, but she works there at Cards and Comics. She was nice enough to open up an Elite Trainer box early for herself so that she can give me the codes. Since she works there, she can get she can do that. And uh, out of her Elite Trainer box, she had a Zoark, an Entei, a Shining, a Shining, um, what's it called? The, the Rayquaza, Shiny Rayquaza, and the Secret Rare Mewtwo. It was wild. It was wild. It was, a, it was wild. <laughs> We're going to end the stream soon, guys, so don't worry about that. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna go with this because I need to not whiff max elixirs, bro. Like this is insanity that I'm whiffing max elixirs. This is insanity. I just have to play really smart with my Pokemon, man. I, I feel I feel like that's just my only option. Otherwise, so we're gonna go ahead and end the stream here, guys. We're gonna do, do we're gonna be doing some Zoark builds probably tomorrow. Zoark builds tomorrow, as well as uh, we're gonna keep testing Raichu and and Genesect and stuff like that. I'll probably keep testing Genesect even more tomorrow because Genesect's the first video I want to upload because I really like Genesect. It's a pretty dope card. Like the deck itself is pretty dope. I like Venusaur as a card as well. It's just nice being, being able to play with a good Venusaur again. But uh, for one energy, one level ball. I don't. You don't ever want to drop Ultra Balls. I was thinking about dropping dropping a Bulbasaur, but then you only have two in the deck and prizes plus lack of consistency could really screw you up because you do want to set up Venusaur sooner rather than later. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to end the stream here, guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. And let me do this trade real quick. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got you, big dog. Here you go. <clears throat> and yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow with another live stream. Peace.